Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube page here. Um, in this video, pretty much, I'm showing you how to customize your own effect symbol using your everyday tools, such as a drill and also a cone steps uh, drill bit um, that I got from Harbor Freights. But you can also get this same tool uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, or you can even go on Amazon, use it, they run a nice deal for an actual set. Um, three to five pieces, whatever one um, is available. But uh, pretty much I'm going to show you how to make your own custom symbol uh, using this tool here. Um, a lot of planning. Make sure you use your uh, safety glasses. In this video, I did not. So um, I'm sorry I did not lead by example, but usually I do have on my protective eyewear. And also you might want to use like some gloves as well because the metal does heat up a little bit. Um, while you're using this tool and also maybe long sleeves because the metal shards will fly around too as well and also have on shoes i did not have on shoes i had on flip-flops because it was just a spur of the moment uh kind of thing to start on it or pick up where i left off but i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave a comment um let me know what you think um if you didn't like it or if you liked it or you had any questions about my process, um, my planning, um, how I actually design and decide where to put the holes at. And also in this video, you will get like the actual hole sizes as well that I use for this particular symbol. Um, so enjoy, hit the like button, share, you know, with other people um, that you think may be interested in wanting to do their own custom effect symbol and also um, make sure you su subscribe <laughs> of course getting tongue tied here but subscribe to this page and make sure you hit the bell so that you can get immediate updates of uh, when I put out a new video all right so I want y'all to go ahead and enjoy and we're going to jump right into this thing so y'all be easy and y'all enjoy the rest of your day peace What's up? About to, my bad. About to try to go ahead and drill a few of these holes real quick. Uh, Y'all already seen the design. So the red marks the spot of where the holes will be. See how I can see it. Yep. One of a kind design. Yep. So on, so on. But let's go ahead and do it and try to get this done as quickly as possible. Using the uh, step cone drill. Let me see if this thing will focus. There you go. Come on. There. There you go step cone drill pit that I'll be using. And pretty much go ahead and apply it. And you're going to let the drill bit do its thing. You let the drill bit work for you pretty much. And it'll come out super clean.
All right, so I need to check my other holes, make sure that this new hole that I'm drilling is the same size. So I'm looking for a 5 8 hole. Drill bit came out. Currently, I am at a not even a half hole, inch hole, so still got a little bit more drilling to do. Make sure it's locked. Let's see where we at. We're almost there. And we just reached it. So good to go there. And pretty much gonna do the same thing for the rest of these holes here. Um yeah. So hold on, I'll be right back with you when I start on the bigger holes, alright? All right, so here are the four holes I just did. Five eight, five eight, five eight. And on this last one, I actually went to, let's see here, 13 16th hole is right before the seven eight mark. So as you see it, 13 16. The second before last size on this uh, actual step cone drill bit. So, pretty much, <clears throat> this was the original design that I had planned, but it didn't go as I planned it. That's why you do try to plan stuff, but if the plan don't work, sometimes you got to scratch it. And start all over. Hence for came this design that you see right now. And pretty much I'm going to do this with this size to this one, to this one, to this one. So it can be uniform. This one is going to stay this size. I didn't do this fourth hole here because I wanted to preserve the lettering or the label um, for the top and bottom. And then I'll complete these holes like this one for one, two, and three. And then pretty much I'll do a sound test. But let me go ahead and try to drill out these two holes real quick. Well, I'll probably do it right here. Since I already got this one, I'll do it right here. Um, so hold on. Go ahead and um, change the bits out real quick. So I'm gonna press pause on y'all real quick, okay? All right, so worked on this one. Getting that hole set. Using my bigger cone step drill here. And we're going to see what it has done, pretty much.
Bingo. Got it. Start with the small one to go ahead and penetrate the metal. Then again, I use that terminator to finish up. <laughs> And there you have it. The holes have been placed. Nice. One thing I do like to do, it's like, I do like to turn it around and run the drill bit on this side, not going all the way through, but just so that the top can actually clear the, uh, the residue left around the hole so it doesn't cut your finger. So the one thing that you don't want to happen, do not want to happen is you grabbing it and you slice your finger because you didn't clean, clean up the back. So that's another thing that I do after I actually have made my hole. So just slightly, don't have to run it hard. Just to clean the back. And that'll clean up all the shards around the hole so you won't actually cut your finger. So that's how I actually handle making my own effect symbol, coming up with my own patterns. Um, it's trial and error, um, of course, with coming up with design. You do run the risk of possibly damaging the symbol, um, it coming out ugly. Um, as well, but that's the risk you take. Um, in this case, the original plan didn't work, so I sat and thought about it a couple of days. I let it sit, and I came back to the drawing board, and this was the new design that I came up based on the couple of holes that I actually put in or starting the pattern of the plan that I drew out. This is the end results, pretty much. So um, once it's done... I have pictures and everything, do a sound test and everything as well for you. All right. Hey, man. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope this is really helpful 
to you guys that um, are looking to do this yourself. And y'all be easy. Check out my page on Facebook. Um, Music World Productions is me playing and also just new projects that I'm doing too as well. All right. Like, share, share with everybody that you can. Y'all be easy, please.